You're looking at the historic B-Test complex at NASA's Stennis Space Center, where we're about to do a second green run hot fire test, firing up the core stage of our new space launch system rocket. This stage we're testing today will be part of the rocket, which will soon launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on the Artemis I mission. That launch will send an uncrewed Orion spacecraft beyond the moon and back to Earth. It's the first flight of the Artemis program, which will return American astronauts to the moon and pave the way for exploration of Mars. Each boys on. Go for engine start. Each boys are on and engine starts. Okay. And all personnel, we've got engine start and we're into the plus count. All personnel, please continue to monitor your system and grasp is in control. What a great day and a great test. And right up front, I just want to say how proud I am of this team. Um, many of the team members have been on the program for a lot of years and, uh, and have worked really hard to get to this point, um, including the past year uh, during all the challenges we've had with the global pandemic. And I just could not be more proud of the team, of their talent, dedication, getting to this point and pulling off a just very successful test. And so I am, I am so grateful and proud for the NASA team, our industry partners, our academic partners, and our international partners that work together in, to pull off these amazing accomplishments. And I just, again, I'm, I am proud and humbled to be um, a leader of this organization. Um, so what does this mean for our plans? Well, this is a major milestone advancing our goals and objectives for Artemis. Um, to land um, the first woman and the next man on the surface of the moon and to return to the moon, this time to stay, to explore the moon sustainably, demonstrate the capabilities and technologies that we need to eventually achieve a human mission to Mars. So not only critical for our Artemis plans, but critical for our overall moon to Mars plan, achieving that ultimate goal. And, um, and this test will allow us to continue the integration of the space launch system, the largest, most powerful rocket ever developed, which we're gonna integrate with the Orion spacecraft and do an uncrewed test flight. Um, leading to a crew test flight and then that first landing mission on the moon. And the SLS and Orion, along with the Gateway and the human landing system, the first human rated landing system in development since Apollo, are the backbone of the systems and the architecture that we're going to need to accomplish those, these goals and objectives.